What's the world gonna look like in 20 years? But what if I told you that the future already exists because the world's smartest people are busy dreaming it and building it? The future is coming fast and your world will never be the same. The future of adventure is about doing what was once undoable. Swim like a dolphin, twice as fast as Michael Phelps, or explore the sea in a one-man submarine. Take a fantastic voyage through the landscape of the human body. You're really walking inside of a large microscope. Rocket across the urban jungle on man-powered monorails. Join a cross-country foot race at the speed of a car. Ride a motorized surfboard that turns waveless water into a surfer's paradise. And jet through the air in a slick new flying suit that makes skydiving look pedestrian. Let's jump to the future of Adventure. Imagine what the science, the future we hold. The ocean is a natural target destination for adventure. But we humans are not really engineered to get around that well. Some adventures, of course, just speak the universal language of fun. Parlez-vous surf, dude? Traditionally, if you wanted to hit the surf, you had to have an ocean handy. That made things pretty bogus for people in Nebraska or Arizona. But now, you can catch a primo ride a thousand miles from the sea. All you need is a big enough body of water and this. The Power Ski Jetboard. The first surfboard with an engine and no waves necessary. Riding a jet board is like riding a 50-foot wave on flat water. It's very extreme. Surfing is the greatest sport ever. That's what it's all about. It's taking surfing to the masses and introducing it to the masses. Bob Montgomery is a surfing pioneer, but now he's ventured into a new sport called flat water surfing. He's thought about building a motorized surfboard since he was a beach bum shooting tubes. We were sitting there talking about a mile a minute, there no waves. We looked down the beach, we saw 500 yards down the beach, we saw a wave. And we said, only if we had a motorized surfboard, we'd catch that wave. And that God-given dream just sunk into my heart and I never let go of it. Here it is. And there it goes. Unlike regular surfing, which can take six months to learn, the power ski jet board is easy for the first time rider, yet still challenging for the hot doggers. Just jump on, push the throttle, and you're totally stoked. This is what it's all about. This is your best friend or worst enemy, your throttle. You have your start, your stop, and you have your kill switch that shuts off the engine when you dismount the craft. But the big secret is actually a small thing. The engine is a pint-sized powerhouse. That's six and a half inches in height, 10 inches in width, and about 17 inches in length. It's the one-of-a-kind engine in the world, and it packs a whopping 45 horsepower and lots of torque. In regular engines, the cylinder sits upright with the exhaust jutting out below the bottom of the engine block and the carburetor extending above the top. Bob figured out a way to lay the cylinder flat, with the exhaust sitting on the right side and the carburetor on the left, at the same time slimming down the width so the whole contraption fits in the cramped space inside the board. He also created a super compact belt drive system that powers the pump and propels the board to a ripping 45 horsepower. This allows you to do these incredible G-force turns, laying out your whole body extended over the water experiencing actual true G-force. is such a rush, especially if you're over blue, clear water with reefs underneath you, you feel like you're actually flying on a magic carpet. But hang on, how green is this sport if it needs an engine in our blue waters? We're moving into the electrical world. Ryan Howard has invented a one-of-a-kind 90 horsepower electric engine, the most powerful of its size. Jet board surfers will feel like they're riding fiberglass rockets. 
We're currently taking the existing gasoline engine out and replacing that engine with a high-speed electric engine. The engine actually weighs less but has a much higher horsepower and torque rating than the gasoline. Our the current speed is around 40 to 45 as far as the current top speed. I believe we'll break the 100 mile an hour mark uh, within the next year. But everything's waterproof, military specs, and it's going to fit right into our board. So it's going to complete the whole dream. That's totally silent, totally green, totally going to take surfing to hyperspace. Bob's dream surf machines will be invading our aquatic playgrounds in the next couple of years. Surf's up? Who cares? Let's surf. Three quarters of the world is full of flat water, and this would take adventure to the max. Surfing's all about freedom, and you gotta have this freedom. And if you're attached to a rope, or you're waiting on the wind, or you're waiting on the waves, you know, you can get bored. You can go surfing anytime you want. You don't have to wait. That's what we're doing. We're giving everybody an ocean. A little bit of joy that we've been hogging all of these days here on the coastlines. Coming up, being a wingman just became a lot more fun. And later, I take a scenic journey through the human brain. Ah! Future! In the future, our adventure may begin with a people-powered monorail. But if that's not fast enough, we'll take off 